Number 10. Matter Eater Lad, also known as Tinsel Kim, made his debut in Adventure Comics No. 303, which was published in December 1962. He was co-created by Jerry Siegel, one of the co-creators of Superman and John Forte. This marked the introduction of a rather unique and memorable character in the realm of DC Comics, bringing forth a superhero with the ability to consume matter in various forms. Indeed, Matter Eater Lad's backstory and personal life were intricately woven into the narrative of the Legion of Superheroes. His origin story explained how the inhabitants of Bismol evolved the ability to consume any form of matter as a means of survival due to microbes rendering their food inedible. This unique ability granted him exceptionally strong teeth and jaws, allowing him to bite and chew through even the toughest substances. Despite being a member of the Legion, Matter Eater Lad's appearances were sporadic due to the challenge writers faced in integrating his seemingly peculiar power into action-packed storylines. The struggle to showcase the usefulness of his abilities in combat situations led to plot devices that often wrote him out of stories by having him continually drafted into his planet's political system, leveraging his fame as a Legion member. Number 9. Deadman, also known as Boston Brand, made his first appearance in Strange Adventures No. 205 in October 1967. He was created by writer Arnold Drake and artist Carmine Infantino, introducing a rather unique and intriguing character to the DC Comics universe. Boston Brand's story revolves around his transformation from a circus performer into a ghostly entity with the ability to possess the living. His journey as Dead Man involves solving his own murder while using his newfound abilities to intervene in the lives of the living and aid in various justice-seeking endeavors. His character brought a different dimension to superhero narratives as he grappled with his existence as a ghostly being, navigating between the worlds of the living and the deceased. Dead Man's quest for justice and understanding of his own circumstances added depth and complexity to his storyline within the DC Comics canon. Number 8 Bouncing Boy Bouncing Boy first appeared in Action Comics No. 276-1961 and was created by Jerry Siegel and Jim Mooney. Chuck Tane, known as Bouncing Boy, born on Earth without any inherent superpowers, he stumbled into gaining his abilities in a rather unconventional way. Chuck accidentally consumed a super plastic formula, mistaking it for a soft drink, which granted him the power to inflate like a bouncing ball. Despite his initial rejection from the Legion of Superheroes, Chuck proved his worth when he used his newfound ability to defeat a robber whose electric weaponry had no effect on him due to his bouncing, showcasing his resilience and resourcefulness. Impressed by his demonstration of bravery and unique powers, the Legion eventually accepted Chuck Tane, who adopted the codename Bouncing Boy. His cheerful disposition, wit, and charm led him to unofficially assume the role of the Legion's morale officer, bringing a sense of positivity and humor to the team. Bouncing Boy's unorthodox powers and enthusiastic personality contributed to the diverse and dynamic roster of the Legion of Superheroes. Number 7. Detective Chimp Detective Chimp first appeared in Adventures of Rex the Wonder Dog for 1952. Detective Chimp, also known as Bobo T, Chimpanzee, is a fascinating character in the DC Comics universe. He possesses superhuman-level intelligence, which sets him apart from other chimpanzees. With his exceptional intellect, Detective Chimp uses his investigative skills to solve crimes and mysteries. He's often depicted working alongside the Bureau of Amplified Animals, a group that consists of intelligent animals with unique abilities. Among this group is Rex the Wonder Dog, another notable and highly intelligent animal character in DC Comics lore. Originally created in the late Golden Age of comic books, Detective Chimp continued to be featured into the early Silver Age remaining a compelling and distinctive character known for his deductive abilities and his unique status as a highly intelligent chimpanzee involved in solving mysteries and combating crime. Number 6. Ragman Ragman first appeared in Ragman No. 1, 1976. He was created by writer Robert Kinnear and artist Joe Kubert. Ragman, also known as Rory Reagan, has undergone some changes in his origin story throughout the years in DC Comics. Initially depicted as a Vietnam War veteran and the lone survivor of an attack on his father and friends, Rory gained their collective abilities and strengths inexplicably, utilizing a costume made of rags crafted by his father to become Ragman. However, in a revision to his origin story starting in 1991, Rory Reagan was portrayed as a Vietnam veteran of Jewish heritage. Following his father's death at the hands of criminals, Rory inherited the mystical suit of souls. This suit, 
woven with patches, is said to house the souls of corrupted individuals. Each patch of the costume grants Ragman access to the skills, knowledge, and strengths of the souls contained within, offering them a chance at redemption in exchange for aiding Ragman in his quest to fight crime and protect his neighborhood. There have been variations in Ragman's origin stories across different series and publications. For instance, the series Shadow Pact introduced the idea that Ragman's costume had origins dating back to 1812 BCE, suggesting it took on different forms throughout history. However, this concept hasn't been universally recognized or acknowledged in all Ragman stories within the DC Comics continuity. Number 5. Chip. His first appearance was in Green Lantern number 148, 1982. He was created by writer Paul Kupperberg and artist Don Newton. Chip, a beloved character in the Green Lantern universe, indeed has a rich backstory tied to his home planet of Halvan and his induction into the Green Lantern Corps. Native to Haven, Chip played a significant role in defending his homeworld from an invasion led by the Crabster army under the command of Dr. Ubex. Despite being captured and sentenced to death, Chip was secretly inducted into the Green Lantern Corps by one of the Guardians of the Universe, who bestowed upon him the power ring of his fallen predecessor. With the power ring, Chip managed to defeat Dr. Ubex and liberate his planet from the invasion. Following these events, Chip traveled to Oha where he underwent training alongside other recruits such as Hal Jordan under the guidance of Kilowak. He eventually became the Green Lantern assigned to Sector 1014, forging strong friendships with fellow Lanterns like Hal Jordan, Mogo, Salak, and others within the Corps. Maintaining a secret identity on Halvin, Chip continued to protect his planet from various threats, often orchestrated by his old adversary, Dr. Ubex. Chip's Dedication to Defending His Homeworld Number 4 the Creeper The Creeper first appeared in Showcase 73, 1968, he was created by Steve Ditko and Don Siegel. The Creeper, also known as Jack Ryder, is an intriguing character in the DC Comics universe with a unique transformation and set of abilities. Originally, Ryder gained the ability to transform into the superhuman entity known as the Creeper through experimental science developed by Dr. Yatz. His transformation involved activating a device that granted him superhuman abilities while altering his appearance, covering his face in yellow makeup, donning a green wig, and wearing a vibrant yellow and red costume with green trunks and a sheepskin cape. As the Creeper, Ryder's behavior became chaotic and unpredictable, serving to intimidate foes while also protecting his identity. Throughout various iterations, including changes in the late 80s and 90s, Ryder's transformation into the Creeper was depicted differently. In one version, the transformation was said to slightly alter his personality, affecting his brain chemistry. Later iterations depicted Ryder and the Creeper as two distinct personalities sharing the same body. In a more recent retelling in the 2006-2007 miniseries The Creeper the character underwent a new origin story. Ryder's transformation no longer involved a costume change but was shown as a physical transformation. The Creeper is characterized by superhuman attributes such as strength, agility, healing, and stamina, coupled with a maniacal laugh that, by the 1990s, was depicted as capable of causing pain or immobility in enemies. Additionally, the Creeper has honed his combat skills and acrobatic abilities through experience and training, making him a formidable fighter in the DC Comics universe. Overall, the Creeper's ever-evolving nature and unique abilities have contributed to his intriguing portrayal and characterization over the years. Number 3. The Black Racer. The Black Racer first appeared in New Gods 3. 1971, he was created by Jack the King Kirby. The Black Racer is portrayed as a cosmic entity embodying death, often depicted as a hunter of those affiliated with the New Gods. The character's human form is that of Sergeant Willie Walker, a Vietnam War veteran who became paralyzed and bedridden due to his injuries from the war. Walker was chosen by the Source, a cosmic entity, to become the avatar of Death, the Black Racer. He was tasked with the responsibility of taking on this role, particularly when Darkseid's war reached Earth. The Black Racer's mode of transport resembles skis, reminiscent of how the Silver Surfer, another creation by Jack Kirby, uses a surfboard for travel. As the avatar of Death, the Black Racer's role involves collecting the new gods at the moment of their deaths and transporting them to Hades, the fourth world's version of Hades or the afterlife realm. The character's association with the new gods mythology adds depth to the cosmic and mythological aspects of the DC Comics universe, particularly within the context of Jack Kirby's creations and their interwoven narratives. Number 2. Animal Man 
Animal Man first appeared in Strange Adventures No. 180, 1965, he was created by Dave Wood and artist Carmine Infantino. Buddy Baker, also known as Animal Man in the DC Comics universe, gained his extraordinary abilities due to his close encounter to an extraterrestrial spaceship that exploded. This event resulted in him acquiring a unique power set that allows him to borrow or mimic the abilities of various animals. Animal Man has the remarkable capability to tap into the abilities of different creatures. For instance, he can borrow the flight abilities of birds, the strength of a bear, the agility of a cat or even the aquatic prowess of a fish. This power allows him to adapt to various situations by temporarily accessing the specific traits and abilities of animals around him. Throughout his adventures, Animal Man has displayed a deep connection to the animal kingdom, not only utilizing their abilities but also advocating for animal rights and conservation. Number 1. Dog Welder Dog Welder first appeared in Hitman No. 18 1997. He was created by Garth Ennis and John McRae. Dog Welder is indeed a rather peculiar and enigmatic character within the DC Comics universe, specifically featured in the Hitman series as a member of Section 8, a bizarre team of the superheroes led by Six Pack. Mysterious and silent, Dog Welder's identity remains concealed behind a welding mask, never speaking or revealing his face. He's portrayed as an unsettling figure who seems to reside in an alley, setting traps for stray animals and possessing a supply of deceased dogs or puppies. His unconventional method of fighting crime involves pouncing upon evildoers and welding a dog carcass to their face, a disturbing and macabre act that adds to his mystique and the bizarre nature of Section 8. The character of Dog Welder is depicted as deeply disturbed and his actions, while ostensibly meant to fight evil, are rather grim and peculiar, contributing to the dark humor and unconventional storytelling found within the pages of the Hitman series. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below on some of your favorite strange DC characters. Please like and subscribe for more content coming soon. Bye for now.